すごいすごい肌が綺麗ね Koso peeps, it's Oz. And today I'm going to talk to you about my first and last experience going to Hostess Club. So, I guess the first thing I should answer is why did I decide to go to Hostess Club? The answer, I didn't. So, I was working at an e i k a i w a which is an English conversation school, and one of my students, a retired businessman, invited me out to dinner. Shall we go out for some dinner and drinks? It is my treat. The old guy seemed like a pretty nice guy, so I said, why not? I'm not gonna say no to free Japanese food and drinks. So after I finished work, I met him, and he took me to this really nice、mm, like、hotel. And the restaurant was located in the hotel, and it was a very expensive, luxurious、um, Japanese restaurant. And it had like a 15 course Japanese meal, and I'm pretty sure it cost around 400 or 500 bucks, which is about Goman. So dinner was great, and after that, he said, I'm gonna take you to my favorite bar. So we basically went to this building that had like five or six floors, and each floor had like ten different bars in it. See, and it was my first real night out in Japan, so I had no idea that we were in like the red light district or the, I don't know, the hostess center of the city. Even the groups of girls in formal evening gowns and guys in Armani suits pimping them outside. Didn't really register in my mind. So, the first thing I noticed when I walked into this bar is that it was really small. There was maybe four or five booths. So, when we walked in, everyone welcomed us like they usually do in Japan with a huge screaming, i r a s h a i m a s e And then the mama san, who is the owner of the bar, and a couple of hostesses ended up coming over to us and talking to my student. Then she came up right up to my face with this big smile and started saying, Kawaii, Kawaii, and making this gesture like, Meoki, Meoki. Which, of course, I figured out means big eyes. She then called over two girls to come and escort us to our booth. The whole time, I really had no idea what was going on because I'd never been to a hostess club. And at this time, I didn't even know exactly what a hostess club was. I mean, I wasn't sure what was gonna happen. My mind started racing. Wow, is this like some kind of brothel? Are they like gonna take us into the back and give us some like private show? I didn't know what to expect. So we sat down and they poured us drinks. And then they poured themselves drinks. And they drank with us. Because, see, in Japan, unlike most countries, the bartenders and the staff actually are encouraged to drink with the patron. And of course, the drinks that they drink are then charged to the customers. It's a weird system that I don't like. I mean, it's like the same thing as if you go to a bar and this happens. Hey, big boy. How are you? Oh, hey. Having a good night? Oh, yes. Now that you're here. So, buy me a drink. Oh, um. I'm, I'm actually here with someone else, so. That's nice. I'll join you. I'll take a gin and tonic. No, 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 really, it's okay. Maybe next time. <laughs> Actually, no, I work here. Ah, I see. It was a joke. I get it. <laughs> yeah, no, no, it wasn't. I want a drink. Now. Anyway, we started drinking, and then I realized that's all that was gonna happen. Basically, the girls are there just to serve drinks. There's not gonna be any kind of crazy orgy or anything, which is good because I wasn't really looking forward to seeing my 75 year old student、uh, naked and balls deep in hostess. And after they poured the drinks and they started drinking, I thought maybe, you know, they'll walk away and do some work and then come back and join us later. But no, they stayed the whole time. And the weird thing is, they just sat there with these big fake grins on their face, just nodding. And my student refused to speak Japanese. No! This is our guest, O Sensei! He's from Canada! We must speak English! No Japanese! No Japanese! And he was getting really, really uncomfortable because he was getting drunk and he kept yelling at the girls, saying that they had to speak English to me because I was Canadian and their English level was zero, so they had no idea what he was saying and I didn't know what was going on. And then the hostess girls were just smiling and nodding, and it was just a big giant mess. And if that wasn't weird enough, then my student starts babbling on about all this stuff. That's b u outrage! Outrage! Bush! America guns Bush! Outrage! Ridiculous! 
And while that's happening, the girls are still just smiling and nodding. But then something weird happens. The girl that was, I guess, with my student ended up putting her arm around him and then she was like rubbing his thigh. And then the girl that I was kind of stuck with was like touching my face. Now I know I should be happy that I was sitting in a bar with two hot girls who are listening to my conversation and touching my face and my hair on my arms but I don't know something just felt wrong my student was drunk and babbling the girls were like mental patients and the drinks they gave us were these nasty whiskey water mixes which I don't drink I just wanted to get out of there and leave I was done with it and that's when my student said something unbelievable Ugh. Oz. Oz. listen right now I am so horny. What? Excuse me? What did you just say? I just... Uh, I want to do it. I want to do it. Did he really just say what I think he said? Us. <laughs> Us. Let's get out of here. Does he mean with me? Oh dear God. He just drops like Saman, which is like another 300 bucks, and he just gets up and leaves. So of course, I followed him out. Then he stumbles outside while the mama-san and the hostesses that we were with wave goodbye and thank us for such a good time and tell us that we should come back again. He gets into the cab and he says, thank you for coming with me today. It was really fun. Let's do it again. And I was relieved because he wasn't expecting me to get in the cab with him. And I was like, okay, thanks for everything. Have a good night and have a safe trip home. But he responded, No, I don't go home. My wife is at home. I'm going to get a massage with the two Philippine ladies. And then he opens up his wallet and gives me 5,000 yen and he's like, For the cab home, have a good night. And that was my first and last time ever going to Hostess Club. Well, that's it for today. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to thumbs up if you like the comment. And if you haven't already, subscribe. Take care. Peace.